Welcome to the channel. Today is August 26. In this episode, we are going to talk about eHang and EH216 certification. Based on information from yesterday's Q1 and Q2 conference call, we will focus more on the development of the EH216 CAAC certification, which is hereafter referred to as the certification in short. The certificaten is what most people care about at the moment. Before we go on to talk about the conference call and the certification. First, let's know more about the project planning so that we can better understand the level of uncertainty and the timing of the certification completion. The certification is a project with associated project planning and development. Development methods exist on a continuum from adaptive to predictive. Some development methods lie on the adaptive side of this continuum and Others lie on the predictive side or in between. Adaptive methods focus on adapting quickly to changing realities. Predictive methods, in contrast, focus on analyzing and planning the future in detail and cater for known risks. Here are some method examples for development planning. Agile development methods lie on the adaptive side of the continuum. Waterfall development methods lie on the predictive side. Progressive elaboration development methods lie in between. Next, more specifics. Agile. For some projects, accurate estimates, stable plans, and predictions are often hard to get in early stages, and confidence in them is likely to be low. Agile practitioners will seek to reduce the leap of faith that is needed before any evidence of value can be obtained. Agile methods are popular in software development. Another way of looking at it is Agile, make it up as you go along. For Agile, the completion timeline is least predictable. For Waterfall Waterfall, make it up before you start, live with the consequences. For Waterfall, the tasks and scopes of the projects are fixed in advance. The completion timeline is most predictable. For Progressive Elaboration It involves continuously improving and detailing a plan. As more detailed and specific information and more accurate estimates become available, progressive elaboration allows a project management team to define work and manage it to a greater level of detail as the project evolves. Some tasks and scopes may not be known in advance. This leads to some uncertainty in the completion time. As the project progresses and more tasks are completed, the uncertainty for the completion time is reduced. Please note everything is new and starts from the blank for the certification. Some tasks and scopes for the certification may not know in advance. CAAC needs data to build the certification. The nature of the certification project development is close to progressive elaboration. In this method, Ehang conducted trial flights. The flight results are then incorporated into the certification process. Further review and suggestion are then made to conduct different flights. The results are then incorporated into the certification process. The iteration may go until the completion. This is consistent with information from the conference call. In the conference call, Ehang CEO said, In the first half of the year, we continue to carry out a large number of trial flights, which are in line with the CAAC's regulatory methods to encourage trial flights first and integrate the trial operation experiences into the certification process. For example, we made a trial and demo flight at the opening ceremony of the Chinese Super League in Guangzhou and the Digital China Summit in Fuzhou. In Japan and in Beijing for the first time, and over South China Sea from Zhuhai Hengqin to Dong Ao Island, etc. In June, we participated in the anti-COVID-19 campaign in Guangzhou. By transporting medical and emergency supplies to quarantined areas using the Ehang 216 and Ehang 216 LAAVs. As you see, data is valuable. Date for any flights may be checked and considered to be incorporated into the certification process, including the Chinese Super League flight and anti COVID 19 campaign flights. Next, about the Eh 216 certification being unprecedented. In the conference call, the CEO said, 
Meanwhile, our collaboration with CAAC for EHANG 216 type certification is going on very well. CAAC has officially accepted our application on January 19, 2021. It has spearheaded the project team by recruiting over 20 experts from the country. To start the certification process, we have held several rounds of review meetings and inspections in Guangzhou and Hezhou. Critical consensus has been reached between the expert team. At Ehang on the basis of complete understanding of the design features of Ehang 216. Now the type certification process are proceeding in an orderly manner in accordance as planned. We have taken the Ehang 216 type certification program as the company's top priority. We expect to work with the CAAC to formulate airworthiness as a certification standard. For the Ehang 216 passenger grade AAVs in the third quarter of this year, which will be unprecedented in the aviation industry. About the certification granting time, the CEO further said. In addition, we expect to obtain the type certificate for Ehang 216 within the next four to six months. We will strive to complete all the relevant certification and inspection work ahead of schedule within this year. Due to the progressive elaboration nature of the certification project, there is a certain variation in estimating the exact completion time. In this case, it is about a few months. But, as you see, now we know there is an upper time limit. For the certification granting, which is six months, the market does not like uncertainty. Now, the uncertainty has been removed. If you view from a long-term perspective, Guessing the exact time with a few month variation is not that important. What is important is that Ehang and CAAC has been relentlessly working hard together to complete the certification and maintained or extended Ehang's lead over competitors in the UAM space. Thanks for watching. This channel gives you update and info on Chinese stocks, technologies, and culture. Please subscribe.